And that's all we have, almost all we have time for. But first up, monkeypox and COVID-19 have raised awareness around the world of zoonotic diseases, which are passed between animals and human beings. The Ugandan government has now built a laboratory that tracks zoonotic diseases in national parks, where communities live very close to a wide variety of wildlife. We'll leave you with these visuals. Thanks for watching. Scientists estimate six out of ten infectious diseases known to man can spread from animals. They say three out of four new or emerging infectious diseases can be traced back to animals. These include malaria, Ebola, SARS. There are studies indicating the spillover of the COVID-19 virus being zoonotic in origin as well. And as growing populations spill over to previously undisturbed areas of wildlife, the risk of transmission has increased exponentially. Nearly two decades ago, there was an outbreak of anthrax at Uganda's Queen Elizabeth National Park. It killed hundreds of animals. Scientists scrambled to identify the disease that impacted the park's wildlife. Back then, there weren't enough facilities for the research to be carried out. Eighteen years later, the country is trying to change it. This is the Uganda Wildlife Authority Diagnostics and Research Laboratory. It is located inside the park at Moea and is equipped to deal with potentially dangerous pathogens. Staff at the lab say they are now able to research and trace dangerous pathogens which occur in wildlife. So the capability of this lab is currently in three forms. One, we can do diagnosis. Uh, two, we can do forensics. What we are, that is, we are developing a pipeline for forensics, especially for wildlife, and then we do research. And when we do research, we do research in bacterial pathogens, protozoan pathogens, we do research in um, viral pathogens as well. This is the first of its kind laboratory in Uganda and in nearby countries. It monitors incidents and acts as an early warning system for the transference of zoonotic infections. We know that the communities around, in this park especially, do engage in eating wildlife. When they find carcasses, they will eat them, especially the hippo carcasses. If someone eats a carcass that they do not know, they don't know the cause of death, it is a, it is a risk to them because you do not know what has killed it, what if it's a pathogen that can kill you. So in the past we've had anthrax outbreaks, both in the wildlife, and then it spills over to human beings, it also spills over to livestock. Since opening its doors a few months ago, the laboratory has already started investigations into potential diseases, the ones that might pose a threat to global public health. The staff here says, with the pandemic uprooting lives worldwide in the past two years, a facility like this can help identify and avoid the situation from getting out of hands in the future.